guitar enthusiast Lauren Bateman here and we're going to be doing a piano song on the guitar. It's called Piano Man and I'm going to show you a simplified way to have fun with it right now. So let's talk about the chords we're going to be using. Now this song has a lot of slash chords because of the nature of the piano. So we're going to be simplifying this. It won't be at the absolute beginner level, but we do have a lot of open chords. We have a C chord, G chord, we have a D chord, a D7 chord, and D7 and D are interchangeable, but it's gonna sound much better if you can play that D7 chord. We also have an A minor chord that's gonna come in, and then we do have an F chord. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a bar chord, but caveat, you could use this F major seven chord, which makes it really easy to go between F and C. Okay, and I'll do a little bit of playing with both for you. I do like the sound of the full bar chord, but if you have trouble with bar chords, this F major seven to C. I mean, you can just look at that. I'm playing this four major F major seven. First and second, first, sorry, first and third fingers stay in place. And then I just have to move kind of this middle finger up and down. Much better than going. Okay, so that's just a little hint, a little caveat if you want to try and make this beginner. Again, we're not doing this to the absolute beginner level, but I am going to make it a lot easier than having to play all the walk downs you hear in the song. So let's talk about the timing of this song because it's very, very important. This song is what we call a waltz feel. So when I play this song, I feel like I want to sway. And that means we're either counting in three or we're counting in six. So let me just play it for you and you can see or you can feel what I'm saying. So it's. See how it has this sway? Da, 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 da. So we're swaying back and forth with this strumming. So we're gonna start off, it's in six, eight times. So what that means is we're counting to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're playing each chord for only three of those beats for the most part of this song. So if I take this first verse, my first four chords are gonna be a C chord, a G chord, an F chord, or an F major seven, and then back to a C chord, okay? So again, C, G, F, C. So if I take that, it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, most simplest form. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a little tip for you, um, you know, when you're counting. So this song is in six, eight. Uh, so you should be counting one, two, three, four, five, six. But when I have songs like this, where there's a lot of chord changes, I will just count to three twice. Because if you do that, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's six beats, right? So whether you're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, one, two, three, doesn't really make a difference here. So I tend to count in threes when they're splitting measures. So if, again, if I go through that, it'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And now if we put all down strums, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin. Okay, see I just did F major seven there. Works totally fine. Okay, no issues there. So that is kind of the simple way to go about strumming this song. But if you heard me, I kind of had a flow to it. Okay, and that's how, I, when I would perform this song live, that's how I would play it. Now the caveat to this is your chord changes have to be much quicker because we're doing much more strumming. But the count for this is, we're still sticking with that, you know, that six, eight time. I'm gonna count to three again, and it's gonna be one, two, and three, and. So it's down, down, up, down, up. And we're gonna be doing that once per chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's it very slow. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and, and then at full speed, it's a little bit more peppier. So it's kind of one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one. So see how quickly you have to 
to move between these chords. That's again why I want to recommend this if you're trying to do this at an easier beginner more or late beginner level. Using that F major 7 is going to help you go between F, C, F, C. It's going to help you switch between those chords much, much easier. So if you go over to my website, laurenbateman.com, you'll see all the notes for this song. You're going to see a lot of slash chords. So you might see something that says G slash B or F slash A. And all we're going to do is we're just going to play the first chord. All right. We, the, the, this is accommodating for all the piano walk downs, you know. I'm butchering it, but there's a lot of like these walk downs that are happening on the piano because when you play piano, you've got your left hand playing the bass and you've got your right hand playing the treble. And there's different ways you can play these chords to accommodate some of these walk downs. I will show you one later, but for now, whenever you see a slash chord, you're just going to play the first chord. Ignore the chord after the slash. So if I take a look at this intro, it's going to be C to G and then F to C. And then it's going to be C chord twice, okay, D7, G, and then we have C, G, F, C, F for a full measure, C, F, and then we're just going to stay on G on the end. Okay, we want, we're not going to do the walk down for that last measure. So let's take this from the intro and play through a little bit, and then I'll talk to you a bit about the la di da part. So we're gonna get into our A minor chord, and I'll show you an interesting chord we're gonna use on that part. But let's take this from the intro. We'll go nice and slow first, and then I'll pick up the speed. So we got a one, two, three, one, two, three. So now you kind of get a feel for the intro in that first verse, and we'll skip ahead to the la di da part, okay? So we got this part that goes la da di da da, la da di da da, and there's all these, these walk downs. We're not going to put them in. What we're going to do is we're just going to hold the A minor chord. So we got la di da da. Now I like this chord. This is D slash F sharp. Could you just play the D chord? It'd be fine. La, da, 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 da. Totally fine. Works great. But it kind of gives you that feel of the piano there. So usually you'd have a walk down where you go A minor. And you'd have like this G in the bass note. So there's really cool parts here. So we're just going to hold on to A minor. But I want to challenge you to try this D slash F sharp. Now, I like to do it with my thumb over the top because I'm lazy. My guitar teacher hated that I did it. It's supposed to be done this way. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm lazy. So I like to just curl my thumb over the top. The, the, the trade-off is that you kind of put your wrist out of position when you do that. And if you are not flexible enough, it could not be possible. All right, if you don't have enough flexibility in your wrist, you might not be able to do that. So again, if you can't, regular D chord's fine. I just think it has a really cool sound, D slash F sharp. Um, another great song that has that zombie by the Cranberries. There's a lot of songs that use that chord. So it's a song that, it's a chord that does pop up a lot. So it's well worth getting familiar with and getting to know. So here on this la di da part, we have our A. La -da. We have another seven chord that comes in. This one's easy to get in and out of. From a C chord, you're just gonna take your first finger down one, top two fingers up a string each. It's just a really wide C chord, okay? So again, la di da from the top. So you got A minor, la da di da da. We 
get our chorus. Sing us a song, you piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. And you got us feeling all right. Now, you can see the chord progression for this song. Even though the chords are quick, the chord progression's very repetitive. So it's a C chord, G chord, F, C. And then it goes F, C, D7, G. Okay, and then it kind of repeats a little bit. But the chord progression for the verses and the choruses are exactly the same. So once you get the feel for this strumming pattern and a feel for how fast you can move the chords, you can really pick up the speed and get in line with the, the feel of this song. All right, so I'm gonna play through this one more time. We're gonna do the intro, the first two verses, the la di da part, and the chorus. And I'm gonna do this up to speed so that you guys can have something to practice along with. If I'm going too fast, this song is peppy, use the settings cog, slow me down, and you can always go to my website, laurenbateman.com, to follow along with the notes there. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> regular crowd shuffles in and there's an old man sitting next to me making love to his tonic playing songs in this 6-8 time, I would highly recommend you go check out my Norwegian Wood Lesson right over there by the Beatles. I'm going to show you a cool lead line and some more strumming, almost very similar to what we did in this lesson here.